Hey gang, I want to show you a few easy ways to add life to your 2D images in After Effects, and it's all centered around one awesome effect, Wiggle Paths. As you can see, none of this art I whipped up is particularly impressive, and the reason for that is to show you how much these techniques can punch up even the most simple projects. Definitely, that is the reason, and not that I'm just really bad at drawing. So anyway, this is what these pieces look like normally, but if I press play, you can see that there's some subtle waving to it, and that's because I've added wiggle paths to each of these shapes. To apply that to your shape, open up the drop-down window for it and click this little play button, and you'll find it right here. As you might guess, this just tells the paths of your shape to do a little dance, and you can control that dance in these settings. For the leaves, all I did was change the detail from the default 10 to 1. Detail controls these invisible points between anchor points of your shape, so if I were to crank it up super high like this, it starts to get pretty fuzzy. Let's go back to 1. Now to get that look like wind is blowing through the leaves, all you have to do is give its scale a little bit of a squish. Hit S to bring up the scale controls and click this chain icon to delink the X and Y axes. Make a keyframe at the beginning, then move forward 2 seconds and decrease the Y axis by like 10. Then go another 2 seconds and set the scale back to where it was. Highlight them all, then hit F9 to easy ease them, and now we're going to make it loop by holding Alter Option and clicking the stopwatch to bring up the expression window. Then just type loop, capital O, out, open parentheses, close parentheses. And now our tree is done. For the fire, the wiggle paths is the same, except I increased the detail to 5. Let's also give it a bit of a flicker to make it sort of look like it's in a stop motion video. Go to Effect, Time, Posterize Time. Set the frame rate to 4, and now its movement is a bit more jagged, and I love it. No need to mess with any other settings, but to help sell it, let's duplicate it with Command or Control D. Make the new one's color a nice orange or red, and then shrink it down a little bit. Anchor points can sometimes be a bit weird, so feel free to get your pan behind tool with Y to move it where you want it. Now get out your pen tool with G and shift some of the points around so it isn't identical, and that's our fire. Finally is our little water bubble. For its wiggle path, I set the detail to 5 as well, but I also changed the points from corner to smooth. For that floaty effect that I have, I used the exact same principle that we used with the leaves, but instead of doing it with scale, we did it with position. See? Just a little bit of vertical movement with the y-axis. Let's give it some nice detail though. First thing, go to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. It's going to start off as this ugly gray scale, but just go up here and set the colors to ones that you like. In my case, I set the start color to a nice mid-tone blue, and for end color, I just copied the color and then went in and shifted it down to get a darker blue. From there, you just have to move these two little dots that are going to be at the top and bottom of your comps by default. Just drag them over to your bubble and get them to a point where they can be their prettiest. Now I went ahead and already made the highlight and shadow that you saw in the beginning, which I'll reveal by clicking this button. The highlight is just a tiny oval that I made with my ellipse tool. I applied the same wiggle path effect to it, positioned it where I wanted it, and now to have it sync up with the bubble, I'm just going to parent it like this. Now it'll follow the bubble wherever it goes. For the shadow, same basic principle. It's an oval with a wiggle path that I made dark gray and I put on the ground under the bubble. To get it to sync up with that floating, I just used the bubble's position keyframes as a reference and just adjusted the shadow scale accordingly. Then, of course, I looped it the same way I did the bubble and the leaves by going into its expression window and typing loop out. And that's all I've got for you today. These were just a couple ways you can use wiggle paths, but the possibilities are literally endless. So get out there and make something really cool. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.